It could happen to you. Driving to an unfamiliar neighborhood, a group of young people got lost. Then the terror when, for no reason, someone opened fire. CBS 2's Dana Kozloff is here, and one person in that car was killed, Dana. Robin, he was a young man. It all happened in broad daylight in rush hour on a crowded city street with possible witnesses all over the place. Those in the ambush car say they were simply minding their own business, enjoying the ride. But minutes later, one of them was dead for absolutely, they say, no reason at all. I kept saying we didn't do nothing. We didn't even do nothing. Ebony Benton can't stop shaking as she relives the seconds before her fiancé Carlton Ewing was shot and killed as they rode together in a friend's car Monday afternoon. I was in the backseat with him and I saw the look on his face when he got shot. And my last memory of him is going to be that look. So. Benton, Ewing, and their two friends were on the southeast side near Ewing and 98th trying to find Torrance Avenue to get to an annual softball game in Calumet City. Quinton Bardney was driving. They were laughing about being lost when out of nowhere and in broad daylight, they say someone in a group of men standing on the street pulled out a gun. They shot probably about nine times. First it was just one shot and then they just let off a bunch of more, just kept on shooting the shots. It's like they never ended. What were you thinking at that point? get away. Bardney says he tried, but a bullet had already pierced the car's trunk and hit Ewing in the lower back. We didn't deserve it. We did nothing wrong. Everyone in that car is work, go to school, work and go to school. None of us involved any gang activity. We were just driving down the street. Bardney says people at the scene later told them there's a gang war in that neighborhood, but everyone who knew Ewing see it as a pointless ambush that cost Ebony Benton, her future husband, a five-year-old girl, her father, and dozens of people, a friend. Benton's only comfort now would be for the person who did it to pay. Please say something. If you saw something, say something. I, I don't want this to just go on unsolved. <laughs> Carlton Ewing worked two jobs, private security and guest services for the Chicago White Sox, Bulls and Blackhawks. Tonight, a Sox spokesperson said this is a member of our family, so everyone feels the loss. Chicago police would say nothing, though, releasing no information about their investigation. Rob. Okay, heartbreaking story, no doubt, Dana. Thank you.